What's up everyone? We have some giant news to go over with Peloton. This stock is going crazy and there are there's a lot to talk about with this one. So stick with me today. We have a lot to talk about and with that being said, we're not going to waste any time. So let's get into what's going on with Peloton. We're going to be talking about some recent news, some fundamental things to look at and some important levels to watch for Peloton stock. So um, I guess you could say some of the most important news is we had um, news today that Peloton's board basically said see you later to former Peloton CEO John Foley. Um, he stepped down and he was replaced by Barry McCarthy. Uh, we could see in the CNBC article right here, Barry served as the CFO of Spotify and Netflix and now he's going to be the CEO and president of Peloton. So that's new news. On top of that, we can see Peloton is cutting 2,800 jobs, which is about 20% of its corporate positions. And then on top of that, uh, basically they're just they're cutting costs. So they're expected to cut around $800 million worth of annual costs um, for the year. So that's big. Um, basically, Peloton is kind of in, I guess you can say, survival mode. Um, the demand for their products has just been getting absolutely demolished. And they're just trying to cut costs to kind of save their business. There's been a lot of negative press associated with Peloton lately. Um, and basically, it's making them a good buyout target. Uh, basically, we have companies like Amazon, Apple, and Nike looking to acquire Peloton. These are just rumors so far. But if we look at like an intraday chart, uh, we can see this news came out on Friday after close. And Peloton stock instantly went from like, $24.50, all the way up to highs of 35 And then Peloton reported earnings this morning, and now the stock is just skyrocketing up 28%. So the stock is all over the place, and there's a couple main reasons for this. The first one, like I said, is that it's cutting costs, which is good to see. You know, it definitely helps um, Peloton's fundamentals. But also, when you have news that you might be taken over by Amazon, Apple, or Nike, that is giant news. Now, I will say these are just rumors right now, so nothing official has happened just yet. But overall, Peloton's just kind of in survival mode. Um, they've had so much bad news lately. Um, we could see, like last month, there was a report that they were to halt the production of their bikes, but then Peloton CEO um, basically said that's not true. We could see in this New York Post article, we could see that um, Foley said that uh, basically the media was uh, kind of um, portraying what, what's happening in, in, I guess you could say, unfair way. Uh, basically, Foley said the information the media has obtained is incomplete out of context and not reflective of Peloton strategy. So it's like, it looks like they're just like slowing down production. They have bad news. Of course, uh, it's just not been good. On top of that, an activist investor that owns around a 5% stake in Peloton wanted uh, Peloton CEO fired, which ended up happening, but they're still not happy with that. They want uh, Foley completely gone. So they're just getting attacked from all angles right now, and it's been rough. And it all stems from the fact that the demand for their products is just diminishing. You know, when the world shut down and everything, you know, everything was closed, people still needed to work out and gyms were closed. So they bought Pelotons, right? Everyone was locked at home and Peloton was kind of like a trendy thing at the time. But now that the world's reopening, people are just going to gyms in person and like Peloton isn't seeing that same demand. So it's like, it's just really hurting their business. And I will say everything that's going on with like Peloton's fundamentals and cutting costs, it's kind of just like putting a Band-Aid on a uh, gunshot wound. Like, yes, it, it helps that, I guess you could say it helps that they're trying to cut costs. It helps the fundamentals. But at the end of the day, they have some serious problems that need that they need to solve. And that's to adapt to like the current world and like, they need they need to figure out a way to get that revenue continuously growing because it's like the demand for their conventional products it's just it's not there anymore and you know when I sit here and ask myself like are people really going to continue to drop twenty five hundred dollars on the Peloton bike it's like I don't know and I think I think the uh, I think the stock price is reflecting that so 
it, it's been pretty rough. But looking at some of Peloton's fundamentals, like it's not terrible, but it's definitely not good. Um, their revenue has been growing at an exponential pace over the years, and COVID has definitely helped them. We can see like in 2017, you know, they had an um, annual revenue of around 219 million. 2018, it went all the way up to 435 million. 2019, 915 million. And then as of 2021, it went all the way up to 4 billion. So it's like, it's growing at a great pace, which is awesome, but that growth is likely not going to continue at its current trajectory. We can say that because if we scroll down to the quarterly revenue, we could see like in 2021, like in at the end of March, it had a quarterly revenue of like $1.2 billion. But then like it's just been slowly falling off, which is not good. So it's definitely slowing down in that sense. On top of that, even in 2020 and like 2021, they still could not produce a profit. And like, that's like their golden year. Like the world was shut down and they're selling like, uh, I guess you could say at home fitness products. It's like, if you can't produce a profit during that time, then there might be some problems. So like we could see their net income for 2020 was um, a loss of like $72 million. So it's like, it's just, it's rough rough to say the least. And their, their cash flows in the negative too. Now I will say one good thing to see is that their price to sales ratio is right around 2.7, which is, which is not bad. So like if we can see Peloton adapt and grow, Peloton can be a great buy. But the question is, are we going to see Peloton adapt to the current world? And that's a multi-million dollar question. So with the fundamentals taken care of, let's look more at the stock's technical levels and important, I guess you could say, levels to watch. So Peloton stock is hands down one of the most volatile stocks in the market right now. Over like the past month, it went from like it went from like 38 all the way down to 22, and then all the way back up to 39 again. So it's all over the place, and these are some giant swings. Now I will say there's a gigantic support level right around $24 a share and res there's a lot of resistance overhead. Um, I would say the next major, major level to watch is that $40 level. There should be a lot of sellers coming in around there. Um, there's also some resistance right around 38, which is, yeah, which it's at right now at the time of this recording. And if we zoom out a little bit more, there's also a really big resistance right around 45. So I would say for like the next couple of days, the next couple of weeks, definitely watch 40 and 45. Those are going to be some huge levels. Uh, we also have a giant gap to fill. We could see there's a giant support right around 80 and the gap goes all the way down to like 61. So, you know, if we do see a recovery, it does have a gap to fill, which is good. Um, but besides that, like there's just a lot of like problems going on with Peloton right now. And for me, it's not a buy right now, but that does not mean it's bad. It's just like, I feel like Peloton really needs to get their stuff together before I would consider investing into them. Like they're only, they're trading at a price to sales ratio of 2.7, which is pretty low. So it's like, if you think Peloton's going to get their stuff together and you think that they're going to adapt, then Peloton's at a decent level. But for me right now, considering everything going on, it's just like, I just feel like they're in survival mode and they're not in growth mode. Nobody is investing into Peloton to like, no one is investing into Peloton as like a value stock or like a value play. People are investing into Peloton for one reason and one reason only, and that's for potential growth in the future. And like the fact that they have to, you know, scale back their production, the, the fact that they're, you know, cutting jobs, like all of these bad things going on. I just feel like they're not on offense. You know, like as, like when you invest into a growth company, you want that company to be on offense. You want them to be expanding and growing and they're doing the opposite of that. So it's like for me right now, it's not a buy. If they can get their stuff together, I might buy it in the future. Their fundamentals are they're all over the place right now. Like the revenue has been growing year like over the past couple of years, but it's slowing down over the past couple of quarters. It's a tough play. 
For me, it's not a buy, but it, it definitely has a lot of hype with it. Definitely watch that $40 level and like $45 level for resistance. And let me know what you guys think about this one because it's up 30% today. Like, are, are you guys buying the dip or are you just looking at it for a swing trade? Let me know what you guys think about Peloton in the comments down below. And if you guys are looking to analyze any stock, like I analyzed Peloton today, definitely check out that first link in the description down below. You could type in any stock and analyze it within seconds. You get full access to 10 years worth of historic financial data, and you can find out exactly what is moving any stock. Uh, the price will definitely be rising in the future. We're cheaper than all of our competitors. We have some awesome, awesome, awesome updates in the works, and uh, I'm very excited uh, for some future updates we have with this one. So if you decide to sign up, all future updates are free, and when the price rises, you'll be locked in. So it's a one-time one payment right now, but like I said, we have some awesome things in the works. So definitely check it out. It's that first link in the description down below. But other than that, have an amazing day.